Hey everyone, I'm Radish, and over the next four days, I'm going to be taking you on a 40 mile backpacking loop through the Eagle Cap Wilderness of Eastern Oregon's Wallowa Mountains. Now, I'm not gonna do very much talking from here on out until the very end of the video, which will hopefully give you just a little slice of the wilderness experience from wherever you are. All right, with that, let's get hiking.
All right, y'all, I am back to the Lake Wallawa Trailhead. That was 40 miles across four days and three nights in the Eagle Cap Wilderness of Northeastern Oregon's Wallawa Mountains. Now, for those of you who are interested in the route that I took, I'm about to go into it in a little detail. So on day one, I hiked up the East Fork of the Wallawa River through the valley and camped at Aneroid Lake. On day two, I hiked up past Aneroid Lake, up and over Tenderfoot Pass. 
and then I did some traverses along the ridge line and crossed over Polaris Pass. There's a little bit of snow on the approach to Polaris Pass, but the actual trouble came on the descent with Polaris Pass. There was some super steep scree with really unstructured trail that gave me a little bit of hesitation. From Polaris Pass, I descended into the West Fork of the Wallawa River, which was definitely the sketchiest part of the trip. Fording that river was a pretty big undertaking this time of year with the snow melt. So I actually had to scramble along a bunch of granite boulders until I could pick off each tributary one by one so that each river crossing was a little bit more approachable than the whole thing at once where the trail would have you cross. From there, I continued past Fraser Lake up to Glacier Lake where I camped on the snow for night two. On day three, I woke up at Glacier Lake and continued up and over Glacier Pass. From there, I descended into the lake's basin, past Moccasin Lake, Douglas Lake, Horseshoe Lake, and I'm sure a couple other I'm forgetting, back down into the west fork of the Wallawa River, where I camped at Six Mile Meadow for night three. I woke up there this morning, and I followed the west fork of the Wallawa River back out to Lake Wallawa Trailhead, where I am now. All right, thank you for watching all. I hope you enjoyed this wilderness experience. If you haven't already, please make sure to like this video below and subscribe to my channel. If you liked this adventure, go ahead and browse through my channel. You can see a bunch of other backpacking trips, climbing trips, and mountaineering trips. And then when you're done with that, head on over to Instagram and follow me at Radish Uprooted, where I'll be posting a bunch of content that I don't share on YouTube. All right, thanks for watching y'all and happy trails.